Bitcoin gold, we start with one hour chart. We want to see how we can look for trade. And as we can see, based on one hour, we get this correction. We want to see how we can look for trade. Similar to other corrections, we have this car internal flat, and we want to see the best thing is the price retest one two zero. Anyway, first we start with higher time frame. We want to see how we can look for a trade. Based on daily chart, right now we're looking at this correction. We see the price broke the previous top, and we have a divergence. How deep this correction can be? Can we expect flat or not? First of all, and second, one thing I need to highlight: I don't think we need to care about this. All right, we just don't consider it. And in this case, we move to forward chart. And as we can see, based on forward chart, the price drops sharply. We get a correction, mostly when we see technical. And based on technical analysis, when we see this kind of the corrective move, what we expect, we expect the continuation before we get the reversal. And even based on daily chart, we mentioned, can we put, can we expect we get the deeper correction and look for flat or not? Okay, now how we can look for trade? If I move to uh, one hour chart, before that we move to forward chart. We we don't have any information if we refer to the indicators, all right? And if we move to one hour chart, okay. As we can see here, the best thing is if there is a continuation, the price retest is low before we get the reversal. But from what I can see here, we get this sharp move, we see this correction. And still, we can expect to get one more up. Then we get the flat, then one more drop. This is how we can look at the chart technically. But the question is, how about if the, this is the start of the up move? That's why if we get any trade setup reversal, either the price dropped or this low or not, we will take it, we start to manage it. And with the breakout of the top, previous top, we see whether if there is a continuation, we keep. If not, then we know that we will have this possibility. That's mean what we'll do, we will look at this one. Any trade setup with a sharp move flag, we will take the trade. And when the price tag, the previous stop, which is 1430, we need to see whether the price can break or not. If price break, it's good for us. We move our stop loss and just let it go. But if we see start to correct, it cannot break, then we should know about this flat, internal flat for one more drop. That's why from there we take out the trade and then from there we can look for sell. All right, but if this one turns to a deeper correction, we can get better trade setup to look for buy. If we get any trade setup as a sharp move flag, what we want the continuation should be sharp. If it turns to a corrective move, the price reverses as a corrective move, we are not going to keep the trade. We take out the trade because we know about the possibility for the bigger correction, okay? And that's why if the price drop a bit more with the breakout of the this low, maybe we can have entry above the stop, which is somewhere around. 173 uh, or around one, sorry, around 137 or around 139. Okay, but right now, I think we, we don't want to have entry above the top. Let the price drop. Okay, but if the price break or take, we first we prefer 124, then we can have entry above 139 in case the price short pre reverse and we couldn't take the trade. Okay, anyway, right now we don't have any trade setup, but if we get any reversal, we will take the trade. And if we, there is a continuation, is good. If not, we should know that about this internal flat. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.